Please welcome Haptic Director John Davis as he presents Be the Lights of the World. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. First of all, I want to thank the marvelous committee that worked on this conference. They were unbelievable. Let's give them a round of applause. A lot of work that goes into these events, and boy, they really, they really did a job. This talk started 2012, and I had just broken a code that every day is a birthday, excuse me, conception day and birthday. And as a result, at the Copy Center, we had a, we had a meeting, I realized that, and then 12-21-2012 was a great, wonderful dedication. So we committed to that energy and we prayed on that day for this fulfillment to take place. So the Mayan calendar began for thousands of years. I did the numbers on 12-21-2012 and I found out it's the light of the world. And I ask you, where is the light of the world sitting in your chair? We were prophesied by Alice Bailey. Has anybody read any Alice Bailey books? I was weaned on her way back when. And she said, around the year 2000, world servers were going to be born to serve the world not the earth. Let's look at the figure eight. The world and the earth. The world and the earth. And you are in the world and the earth. And you chose to come down here and do this. You came down here to be the light of the world. Now we all think of Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, Christian, and Zoroaster, right? Well, they were great ones too. They weren't perfect, and neither we are, and neither are we. So as a result, we have to recognize that we are here for a specific purpose. And the other came at, at a air sign. It's not Libra. It's not Gemini. It's Aquarius, not Aquarii. That's the important thing. It's about the world as one family. We Coptics love everyone. Remember, you lived in all those countries. We don't remember our past lives, thank God. We are here to become the energy of beating all, and you can see these flags right here. They've been with us for a long time. The flags of all nations are right there. We love all those countries. And we pray that they come together and create peace. Peace, peace. One of the prayers I want you to make is for peace to come on earth. Now another thing that I broke the code. On the planet, we have nine year cycles. Every nine years, there comes the most powerful year of that cycle of nine years. And guess what? 2017 is that year. Now, when you take 20 and 17, it adds up to 37. The three represents the solar plexus, power. And the seven represents the top of the crown. We are involved with the power of the mind to create the world, the new world. And we all know what's going on in, on the planet right now. It's all part of a new, a new beginning. And I happen to do numbers. I haven't shared this publicly before. 
So I did the uh, numbers on 12 of 21, uh, 2012. And during my readings, I've given many readings. I memorized countries, great countries, great people. And if those numbers appear in the reading, I say, you are with them. And guess what? I'm going to do what this great date means, 1221, 2012. First of all, the 33rd degree of masonry. Remember the founding of our country? The founding fathers, right? They loved the 33rd degree of masonry. It is in 1221, 2012. Then we have Abraham, the Jewish king of all nations. You read all about him. And then we have King Arthur. And then we end with Abraham Lincoln. Why are they there? They are guides. They, these great men set this up for us to create a new world, make it better than ever, to bring forth that energy just through the power of thought. Homeless find homes, hungry find food, sick and injured are healed, or at peace, or at unity, or sharing, or prosperity. Every day, every day, every day. That's the power. You know what the tongue represents? The Lord. You carry, the, you, you carry right within you the power of the Lord. And this year is springtime. And you're the farmers. You're planting those seeds. Plant the seeds. Every day. Every day. Every day. In my book, I have a recommended daily prayer. If you want to become and fulfill your destiny as a light of the world, all you have to do is read this recommended daily prayer. It's on the table out there, under the copy table. I want to just read one paragraph of it for you so you get an idea of what it means, because it's all positive. That's all we believe as Catholics, positive. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. World peace, world unity, world sharing, world prosperity. The merging of all religions and nations, helping each other as well as, as, well as themselves. Here's one paragraph. I pray that all politicians choose peace in all circumstances. Bring the Ten Commandments to national and international expression. I pray that all humanity, remember that all children worldwide are symbolic for our children, and all people are our brothers and sisters. I pray that women everywhere are empowered and experience equality with men. All men and women are created equal. I pray that slavery is eliminated from planet Earth. I pray that governmental law be for the benefit of the people, by the people, and for the people. The hungry find food, the homeless find homes, and the sick and injured are healed. I pray that all nations share their na na nation's natural resources with other people and other nations. We believe. We believe. We believe. Anything is possible. And it's up to us and other world servers on the planet to bring this into an active manifestation. And all you have to do is just read this prayer every day. And by reading it, by saying it, it will go out in the ethers. And we plant the seeds. We don't know when they're gonna we don't know when they're gonna be born, whether it be nine months, nine years, ninety years, nine hundred. That's not our responsibility. We have to plant the seeds of universality. Another prayer I'd like to have you think about. We pray that all nations have their greatest economy ever. Every nation on this planet will have their greatest economy ever starting this year, springtime. And you know, when we incarnate, we won't remember that we did this. Oh yeah, we like to know our past lives. This is the life. So you're given a new responsibility today. Just wake up in the morning or the evening after your meditation, just read it, that's all, that's all. And the reason I really got uh, turned on to this uh, situation 
Well, uh, I don't know how it's got my hands, actually. May 15th, 2006. The effect of one individual from Wayne Dyer. I read from this email. One individual who lives and vibrates to the energy of optimism, a willingness to be non-judgmental of others, will counterbalance the negativity of 90,000 individuals who calibrate at the lower weakening levels. One individual who lives and vibrates to the energy of pure light and love and reverence for all of life will counterbalance the negativity of 750,000 individuals who calibrate at lower weakening levels. Think of the power we have. Think of that power. One individual. You. You're it. That's what my buddy Jim Gore said, one of my, Jim Campbell and I, but Jim Gore, and every one of his talks, all he talked about was light and love and light and love, and at the end of it, he said, you're it. What a man. What a man. A prototype that we all can emulate. And Wayne Dyer, thank you for this. It reached all of us today in the heart to realize that we have a lot of power. But remember, that power is projected into the world. So we not only are praying for every country to have a fantastic economy, but for the leaders on earth to create peace alliances with as many nations as possible. That becomes these international leaders. That's their number one priority. I'm going to have peace on earth. Peace of all nations, all peoples. I'm going to go to these different countries and I'm going to propose it to bring this peace into that instant manifestation for all people to have peace on earth. That is power. And that's our power to always think of the other person first. And I know many people in this room do. You wake up every morning, who am I going to help today? Who am I going to compliment today? Who am I going to be there for today? And you create that and project that love energy and that sun energy to everyone you meet. No coincidence, you bump into anybody. When you do, make their day better. So this is the essence of my book, Be the Lion of the World. You're it. And as a result, the world is going to be changed. This is the year. Now, we want to continue every, every year, by the way. <clears throat> but you know, this is a big one. The most part of the way you think of it. Think of the power we have right now to bring this into, in, into reality. Now, I'm director of the World Service Order. And um, we have another I want to talk about the World Service Order. We've, we've been training people since 1985, by the way. We copied teachers and ministers and WSO graduates have spread all over, all over America. And, and we're honored that we have, that we have trained them. Here are the four weekends. Weekend one, title, Beyond Limitations. Weekend two, Interpersonal Relations and Counseling. Weekend three, communication and presentation. Number four, organizational development. We teach you all those skills. And you'll hear some of our wonderful copy teachers here and ministers. And they were trained through the World Service Order. So if you are interested, there's a sign up out there. It's four weekends a year that it's all in, it's all out there. And we would love to have you at the copy center four weekends a year to pre prepare you to be a leader, a spiritual leader. So please take it under an advisement and think about maybe joining us this year. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today. We are so honored that people of your quality are drawn to this universal philosophy. We are not a religion. 
We have a philosophy that embraces all religions because we love them all. That's one thing my travels taught me. Every time I went into a country, I evaluated and learned about their religion. And guess what? I love them all. Every one of them are fantastic. So thank you for being here. It's going to be our greatest conference ever. You know that. You know that. You can see it. You can feel it. And we are so honored for these great speakers who are going to be sharing their wisdom. We are honored to be with them on this magnificent, wonderful day. God bless.